Hi guys, I'm back. I've been pretty busy this afternoon. Um, I completed my other bottle and I'm pretty sure I've already posted a video for that. Uh, things got a little crazy here on the home front so I had to step away for a little while. But I did have a chance to get this drawn out. I'm actually going to cut it out. I'm going to paint it with some acrylic colors. I'm probably going to use uh, the fuchsia and where's the other one at? I was thinking fuchsia and Laguna, which both of these are from Apple Barrel. No, I'm wrong. This is from Anita's. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm not real, real tickled with this, this one right here on the glass. It was kind of a fail. When I did the first coat of paint on the bottle here, when I tried to do it on there, um, I came back on to do another coat of it and it just peeled right off. So I'm not really knocking the brand, but I don't think I'm going to purchase this one anymore for glass. It probably would have better results on wood or paper, but not so much on glass. I am going to add it onto the paper, though, because I like the colors, um, and I want to mix these two together, um, different parts of this on here. I haven't really figured out where, but um, basically what this is, if you don't draw, you could find this image and print it out. You could paint it the same way. Um, I'm pretty sure you could print this out on tracing paper from the inkjet printer if you have it. Or you can use, um, there's just so many different ways to transfer it over. Um, I, I like the tracing paper like I've said before because it's just so easy to work with when you get the Mod Podge on the bottle. And I kind of like that. So um, I'm going to paint it and then Mod Podge it to the bottle and then I went back through some of the scrapbooking stuff that I got and I Mod Podge some stuff to photo paper. As I've said before in previous videos, it makes it more sturdier. The elements are cardboard, but I want it to have that extra little um, backing to it. You don't have to use photo paper if you don't have it. You could probably use cardstock or, um, there, you know, just something that's a little bit thicker. Maybe, maybe construction paper. I don't know. Um, I like the photo paper because most of the time it's acid free paper and it's not going to change the color of this um, over time. So whatever works, whatever works for you. This is what I find and this is what I kind of like. So this is what I kind of stick to. So probably not going to use all of these um, embellishments on this bottle, but I like to give myself a choice. So when I do it, I usually do it in larger sheets. Um, probably going to I'm not really a planner, y'all. Not really a planner at all. I just kind of find things and add it, add to it as I go. So, um, these are actually stickers that came out of one of those scrapbooking sets that that um, um, my friend Deb gave to me, and I just stuck the sticker on the backing of the um, photo paper and then mod podged over it. It was real simple. These other ones, you just Mod Podge the back of it and then stick it and then Mod Podge over the top of it. And I feel like I'm saying Mod Podge a hundred times. So <laughs> anyway, this is where I'm at with this. I'm going to use some of these elements. And then um, as I was looking through, I found some letters that are on there with felt. And I thought, wow, I was just at Walmart and bought a bunch of felt. And look at how easy it is to make your own letters. Um, luckily, I have a couple more sets of these I can kind of use as a guide. But um, I'm going to leave all of this on here like this, and I'm going to put them on the bottle. It has some foam backing on it. Probably going to take that off and um, just hot glue it to the bottle because it's already going to have some depth to it. And then I feel like I want to paint over this, um, all of this, just to give it a little bit more, um, you know, texture. I want something textured on this bottle. Um, the bottle that I'm using is just a regular vodka bottle. Um, like I said before, I have a friend of mine that gives me all kinds of bottles and um, it's got two coats of paint on it. The first coat of paint that I used was the fuchsia from the Anita's um, paint and I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't happy with the glass. It does not adhere very well to glass. I did forget to spray it with the alcohol and um, of course I went back and just threw that bottle in the sink and got a new one, but I'm still not happy with this on glass. I mean, some of you guys might have a better experience with it. This this one right here, I don't know if I can focus it, but I don't like it on glass. I'm probably not going to use that one again. Um, I'm going to keep it, though, because you could use it on the paper or maybe wood. You get a better result. But I'm going to add her after she's cut out and painted on the bottle. And then, um, and, you know, and I could draw this out on the bottle, but I choose not to because it's just so hard some of the surfaces of these bottles, it's just, 
you've got lines and grooves and it's so hard to get it centered so I like to do the artwork on the tissue tissue goodness gracious tracing paper and then transfer it over on here and then I'm I'm pretty accurate every time with the placement of it so um, so anyways that's what I'm gonna do I stepped out of the house for a little while and um, went to the dollar store dollar general store and I found I found these little guys and they're only a dollar down there right now. I paid a dollar each for these and I thought they're really cute. And that's the good thing about, you know, being aware of what you see when you're in the stores because you can take this and use it for just about anything. It's not painted. I could paint it if I wanted to. Then I got to looking and there was a whole bunch more of them. And look at this one. She's already painted on her, um, on the flowers on there. So then I started thinking, well, what can I use them with? I'm going to take them and put them on top of this bottle. I'm going to take it and I'm going to set it up on top of the bottle and have it glued on there um, like this. And um, it's going to be really pretty with maybe some tool on the outside of it under her and then maybe the lid. I don't know, but it's going to be beautiful. I can already see it. It's going to be beautiful. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. I have not figured out the webcam yet to be able to um, record as I'm doing this I have to get some video editing software because I don't want it to bore you to pieces um, as you're watching and I've noticed on some of the other YouTube videos that I watch they're able to speed that up me and my webcam we're still trying to get to know each other here so uh, bear with me I'm not here to try to bore anyone to death I just want to you know be able to show what I do and hopefully I can help some other you know anyone else out there that's kind of starting out wanting to make you know something with a tight budget um, as I've said before bottles are not the only thing that I make I've dabbled into making a couple of um, what do we call that uh, shadow boxes I've done some light bulbs I've done captured fairies and light bulbs um, I've done cards I mean there's just there's a lot that I've done that I haven't really been able to share yet but I will I will so I'm going to end this video and I'm going to start working on the bottle and then I will um, post a video of it either nearly done or almost done whenever I'm getting to a stopping point. And uh, I guess that's it. As I've said before, you can find me on Facebook under Shannon Sharing Crafts. You can um, look at all the bottles that I've made on there. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, it's a public page over there on Facebook, so you know anyone can see anything that's on there. Um, leave some comments and I'd love to get to know some of you guys. I'm pretty new to YouTube and um, you know just kind of reaching out. Right now I feel like I'm reaching out to empty air but you never know. I mean I stumbled onto a bunch of videos so hopefully somebody out there will stumble onto mine. I'm going to continue to make them regardless. So other than that I'm going to get to work and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.